In retirement, a number of Kenyans choose to go easy as the economic potential goes down. However, a group of retirees in Nyeri County are defying the odds and engaging in farming activities to improve their earnings and livelihoods. Here now is KTN's Karen Derry who caught up with them and filed the following report. Having spent their productive years in salaried employment, many are often ill-prepared for retirement and the actual realization of just what it means to have an idle day and little money. But a group of retirees in Yeri County are changing the trend. The group, though, in their sunset years are hard at work, making good use of their pension. Poultry farming is one such activity they have ventured in. The pension is Some of them just stay at home, doing nothing, and they need to eat. All those people who have retired can stay before they die. And it is not only for the money, but also keeping themselves busy. Uh, they have got the responsibilities to meet. They could be having their grandchildren. According to the chairman of the Cairo Retirement Association, a third of one's previous salary is too little. Maybe because I tried long ago, 30 years now. But it is, it is affecting every retiree. While they're making hay as the sun still shines on them, they also say their pension needs to be reviewed upwards. They should help to improve the pension by appointing a commission of inquiry in, in this country to look into the future pension. The senior citizens have initiated similar projects in Taita Taveta and Baringo. While as they have demonstrated entrepreneurial skills no no age limit despite them attaining their retirement age and they're now spending their sunset years toiling trying to supplement the little they get as pension. Carol Dead for Katian Inyeri. Right, so that's what the old people are doing. Let's take a look at what the young people in central Kenya are doing. And they have been urged to take up coffee farming as a way of continuing the production of one's ki uh, of Kenya's foreign exchange honor. Now, during a two-day workshop held at the Dead and Kimathi University of Technology, Senior Deputy Director of Education, Margaret Murage, urged the youth to participate in this economic activity. The low interest in coffee farming amongst the youth has partly been attributed to low profits in the recent years. Now, young people also prefer white collar jobs to blue collar jobs and the coffee stakeholders are hoping to change this mentality. The chairperson of the Kenya Coffee Development Fund Lee Warwinge said the workshop that they will be funding young people that to enable them plant more coffee. The main objective is to figure out ways of getting the youth to be more involved in the coffee industry. We are developing products that can be able to help youth who would be able to access coffee like that to come and, and get money so that they can produce coffee. 